Welcome back to my channel, it's Manisha here. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some different ideas on how you can use these foils that you can color in from She Modern. So thank you She Modern for sending those out. So I've got a mixed set here, um, and that's in a black colorway, so it's a black foil. And then I've also got another mixed floral one, and that one's in purple. So you can sort of see a little bit of a um, shift in the color there. So these ones are designed to be used as coloured in or you can use them as is. So I'll just quickly show you in a pack what you get and then I'm going to just jump in straight with the design. Um, so you do get one sheet, full sheet of um, floral, you know, or whatever pattern you've chosen. So there's lots of different sizes there and different ones to choose from. So you can get single flowers too if you choose um, a sheet that's just got a particular flower. You can get a whole sheet with just that flower and it will be different sizes that you can use in your designs. You also get a, um, a random select um, foil to try out at home and you also get the creative nail art stencil so that's a reusable stencil and a mixing canvas. Now I have gone over these in previous videos so I'm not going to show um, in detail how that all works but obviously I'll link my um, playlist, She Modern playlist down um, below for you and also at the end of the video and I do um, suggest checking out She Modern's videos too on YouTube and also her um, website because she's got lots and lots of inspirational videos loads of different nail arts that have already been done so um, they give you lots of ideas on how you can use her products so I'm just going to be doing these on some um, practice nails today which I've already painted so I've used a few different nail polishes there like so I'm not going to go into detail with colors at the moment but I will, um, so I've done sort of three on that one there, but I will list the names of the polishes for you down below in the description box. So I'm going to be doing these on um, regular polish, but I will be probably using some gel polish to colour in some of these flowers too. But I'm going to be probably topping them all off with just regular um, polished top coat because I know a lot of the ladies um, that follow me do just use regular polish. They don't all use um, gel. So I'm going to be doing that today. So I'm going to speed the next part of the video up so it doesn't get too long. I'll do a voiceover explaining exactly what I'm doing. And then I will meet you back at the end of the video for a bit of an oversight of what I've done and a, um, what my final thoughts are. So sit back, relax and enjoy ladies. Okay, so first up you do need to apply glue to your dry base and let that completely dry. So it just takes a few minutes for that to happen. Then I'm going to be selecting which flowers I want to use in my design. So that's just a bit of a close up there of what you get on that mixed flower sheet. Cut out the flowers that you want to work with and I'm going to use a clear stamper just to get the foil actually onto the nail. It just gives you um, a bit more precision on where you want to place it and um, just a lot less fiddly than what it normally would be if you're just using your hands. Now I've decided to start on the bottom corner and I am actually going to fill up this whole nail with these foils but um, I just do that off camera. And there, I, like, I did have a little bit of a mishap with this because I didn't wait for my base to be fully dry. So yeah, my bad on that one. Now, because I've used foils, I am using a water-based top coat for these and I'm gonna add some little uh, studs, some pastel colored studs, because I thought they'd work quite well with this design. So yeah, a bit of an oversight on my part. I was a bit eager to start with this and I should have probably left this nail to right at the end when it had a chance to fully dry. Now I'm going to move on to the purple foil, so I'm going to be using some gel polishes to colour in and as I said before I will be listing all the um, polishes that I've used down in the description box below. So I'm just using the mixing canvas there to decant um, a little bit of each polish. Had a bit of a mishap with the gold one and it's made a bit of an angry face there so just ignore that, that's not intended for you guys. I have actually cured the gold one, the gold glitter before adding the pink and I'm just doing an extremely thin, thin, thin layer on there. You can just flip your um, stamp head over just to see what it looks like. Once you've cured that, just add a coat of the um, gel top coat. Now the key here is to go really, really thinly and then just cure that in your lamp for whatever, 30 seconds I think it is. 
and then to make them into stickers I'm just going to add a tiny 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 dab of glue so the glue just spread it around and wait till it fully dries then you can just peel them off so they actually become sort of like stickers and then you can just place them on the nail so I decided to start in the middle first to get the middle one where I wanted it and I'm just going to press it down gently with my fingers and then I'll place the other two, one at the top, one at the bottom, just in a row. As you can see here, and like before, I'm going to add a water-based top coat and then go ahead and add my sesh feet. So this is the next design. I'm going to be colouring in these ones with white and I'm going to be using some Sharpie markers as well. So like I said before, the key here is to go really, really thinly with the gel polish. Keep within the foil line, don't go over the foil line with your, um, with your gel. Cure it in the lamp and then add a very, very, very thin layer of gel top coat and cure it. So these are the markers I'll be using. So you can use any permanent marker, you'll get a nice result with those. Fine tip ones, you can work a lot more um, finely, do more intricate designs. And the broader ones, obviously, you've got to just be a little bit more careful. So I've peeled them off the backing paper, I'm just going to make them into stickers as well. I've added a layer of glue. Once that's dried, I'm just going to at at attach it to the nail. Now, I will admit, I have got my um, the gel polish on way way too thickly here and you can actually see the line and you'll see at the end of the design where I've actually wrecked it so please 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 remember the key is when you're using these gel polishes is to go as thin as possible especially with the top coat and um, you'll see why later on when I show you a close up so I've decided to do a glitter design as well so this is how you transform one of these into a glitter nail art Add a tiny amount of glue, less is more, you can always add more to it, it's hard to take anything away. Now let that dry, so once it goes clear it will be completely dry. I'm just adding the foil, um, sorry, the glitter to the canvas and dabbing it onto that glue area with a clean finger. So you can clean your finger off with, with the uh, lint remover and just sort of wipe away any excess off your sticker. I'm going to call it a sticker because that's what we're going to make it into. You can see how nice and thin that is and I'm just brushing off any excess just very gently and then I'm going to add a layer of top gel again. Now I made this one too thick as well I'll admit and um, obviously don't learn my lessons when I'm doing things like this but yeah less is more. The thinner that you apply the top coat the better it's going to be and it will um, you know, blend in seamlessly on the nail. Yes, it looks okay there, but when I actually add the top coat, I wreck it. Okay, so I'm back with the final designs, and um, what do you guys think? Um, I really like them. There's some favourites of mine and some not so favourites of mine. Um, I like the versatility of them and how you can use them in lots of different ways. And I really like, um, out of all of them, I think that's probably my most favourite design, the one with the hibiscus flower. And then I also like that one, I just like how they look on that green holographic, so the, I thought they were quite cute. Um, don't mind the marbled one so much, not too bad, I think I probably could have done a better job with the application of the foils. And these two, um, yeah, user error, I, you can see um, there where I did the top coat too thickly and it hasn't given a very um, sort of invisible um, stick on the the nail itself so whereas these ones here where I've done them really really thinly you can't actually see where the um, foils are but on these two um, I'm gonna have to probably bin that um, gel that I've got I think it's a little bit too thick and start again with a fresh one or um, just maybe put it on with the, um, the what's a magic what's it called the dotting tool instead of using the actual brush from the straight from the bottle so yeah definitely use the error you can do a better job than what I've done there but um, in hindsight I do like how the glitter looks in the in the center of it I think um, it's actually very very pretty and it's holographic too and who doesn't like holographics so there you go so yeah um, you know like they're a fantastic fantastic product um, and I've also got a little bit of a um, another surprise for you guys I'm going to be hosting yet another giveaway with She Modern and um, she's very generously going to give um, 10 prizes out for um, some nail art foils so 
you know, like you've seen other videos that I've done, um, there's lots and lots of um, different ones you can get on the website. These are just a few of the ones that I've got here. Um, and I think I've just gone and dropped something on the floor. Oh, here we go. You can get sort of like little jandal ones and, sorry, we call them jandals in New Zealand. Um, I think they're also called flip-flops, which is in England, where I used to be from. So I used to call them flip-flops. But they're called jandals here, and I think they're called sandals elsewhere. So you know what I mean, what they are. Um, Christmas baubles. Yeah, so there's lots of different ones to choose from. This is just a little um, snippet of what she's got on offer. I mean, there's some of the holographic ones, black ones, purple, blue, pink, any colour you can think of. She's pretty much got it there. Um, she's got some newer ones out that you don't have to colour in. You can just use them as is. Um, but if you choose these ones, you can use them coloured in or not coloured in. So, you know, the sky's the limit. So, yeah, as usual, there will be some rules to follow when doing giveaways. And um, as always, I will list everything down below in the... Um, the description bar down below. Oh, I'm not finding my words today. I'm so sorry about this. I've just had a real hectic day. Um, yeah, so please, please, please follow the rules, but I'll just go over them very, very briefly. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure what date this is going to go to air, but I will write on the bottom of the screen um, what date the giveaway closes, and then I'll do another um, video showing the drawing of the winners. So there's going to be five international winners and five um, US winners. So you will, all the winners will get to choose one pack, one sheet with the um, foils and all the little accessories that come in there too. So that, and you can choose what you want. I'll give you a special code and you pop on the website, use that code and you will get your, um, your prize pack. And um, basically you can write whatever you want in the comment section below because I do really love to hear from you but I also need you to write clearly into me so then I know that you are actually entering into the draw as well and um, can you please make it clear if it's US or international and um, if you don't put um, either of those I'll just enter you into the international one and um, if it is international if you're able to write down which country because we need to make sure that she's got your country's information logged in at the the checkout on the website so you can um, so you don't have any trouble when you're claiming your prize and um, please be clear with your address when you're popping it in there because she is only going to send the prize out as a one-off and um, if it doesn't get to you because of the incorrect address and things like that um, do you know like I'm sorry but you know she will only send it once to you she's had trouble in the past with people putting incorrect addresses and um, um, unfortunately she's had to send prizes out yet again and again and um, that's something she's not going to do which is fair enough you know like it's up to the person that's claiming it to be really clear about where it's got to go um, obviously you've got to be subscribed to my channel um, to um, enter and I will check um, all entries and um, validate them so if I don't see that you're subscribed or you've got your subscriptions on um, private um, I can't check then to see that you are actually subscribed so you know you just make sure you've got it on um, public and um, also check out YouTube's um, She Modern YouTube channel too and um, she does a really good range of different um, you know tutorials there lots of different ideas and stuff and um, be over 18 years of age and or get parental permission to take part and I do need winners to contact me ASAP to claim their special code and that will have to be done by email but I will um, obviously put that information in on the prize draw um, video for you um, and yeah apart from that that's all you need to know and um, definitely check down below in case I have forgotten anything but I think I've covered it all and apart from that good luck everybody and thanks for stopping by I ho hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day bye for now